Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm doing this really cool kind of cat eye bold eye look. Use this beautiful kind of deep navy shimmery blue from Kiko and I absolutely love how it turned out. So I really hope you uh, want to see this look and if you do then please keep on watching. Okay, so first of all I'm taking my Lily Lolo eye primer as always just to prep and prime eyes ready for the eyeshadow. So I'm actually not going to do too much eyeshadow in terms of the crease and stuff like that. I'm actually using the Makeup Revolution Flawless Matte um, Palette, taking the more uh, cream-like boned colour. And just using this just to pop all over the lid, to kind of half set the primer, but also just to blank out the lid. Then I'm taking this cool toned grey colour here on a small luxy brush. And I'm going to pop this through the crease. This is the only thing I'm going to use in the crease. I just use a small amount just to help define the crease, make it stand out a bit more but nothing too harsh for it, it's really noticeable because I want the focus to obviously to be the cat eye effect around the eyes but I do feel like the, the crease just needs a little bit of definition to kind of help with the look in general. So I kind of go back and forth just making sure it's blended out so it's not too harsh or anything like that. Then I'm actually going to take the Illamasqua um, Black Eyeliner Pencil. I'm just using this to begin with just to kind of help map out the shape that I want to go for and things like that. So I just run it along the upper lash line to begin with not being particularly neat about it. It's quite a creamy pencil, so it blends out really well. And then I'm using my Kiko pencil brush just to kind of blend out a little bit. Before I go in with that beautiful kind of deep blue shimmer colour, I just want to map it out further with a black eyeshadow. So I'm going in that same palette, taking the matte black, just to kind of intensify and kind of really help shape out the look I'm going for. So shape out the wing, the size or the thickness I want the colour to be around my eyes before going on top of the blue colour. And actually putting a black base down first will make the blue colour stand out just that much more. So that's kind of the reason behind it. So this process did take me a while. So I go back and forth, adding some black eyeshadow, then going ahead with a fluffy brush and blending it out. Because um, obviously you want it to be quite defined, but you also want it to like diffused as well at the same time, or at least I did. So it's a lot of going back and forth with the black and the pencil brush, and then taking a fluffy brush and kind of blending out. So yeah, I just keep going back and forth until I get the kind of desired effect that I want. Then I'm going to quickly move on to the skin, so I'm taking the collection Primed and Ready Pore Mattifying Pore Minimizer, just to take this down the T-zone. I decided with this eye look, I actually wanted to go for quite a matte base, um, so that's what I'm doing today, but I am going without any foundation, so quite a glam eyes, but no foundation. So obviously going with concealer, this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm using this under my eyes and any blemishes that I need to cover, any redness and things like that and using the Royal Techniques concealer brush to blend out. I also use it to help kind of shape the wing, so help tidy it up if I need to, or change the kind of angle of the shape as well a little bit if I needed to. Then I'm setting it with the RMS um, and powder, like I usually do. Now I do accidentally forget to blend it completely away from the chin, so especially on my very stubborn spot at the moment, you'll see later there's a slight white cast in the video. It's not like that in real life, but you'll just notice it because I didn't properly dust away the powder, which is my bad. But anyway, so I'm taking the um, Barry M Take a Brow Brow Gel, pulling through the brows, and then I'm taking my Lily Lolo Eyebrow Duo just to quickly fill in my brows. I mostly have done them quite heavy today, but I think it helped match with the eyes a little bit. So then for the lower lash line, going back in with the pencil again, just to map out where I want everything to go. I take it right into the inner eye duct, and then I also use it in my water line as well to tie the look together. 
And then obviously going back in with the Kiko brush and that black eyeshadow and going over it and it helps smudging out and smoking it out ever so slightly. I do take a fluffy brush again, I believe, just to kind of help diffuse out the edges. But I'm also connecting it to the winged out section as well. So it just wraps around the entire eyes. Yes, yeah, so you can see it in this angle how badly I did not wipe away the powder from my chin. So this is the beautiful blue eyeshadow that I'm talking about from Kiko. You can use it wet or dry. I did take it wet on a pencil brush just to really intensify it. And as you can see, it just creates this beautiful deep blue shimmer to the lid. And because you've got the black underneath, you can just it just really helps it pop even more and looks really stunning. And like I said, I wanted to put the black first just to help shape out the look before going in with this colour. But it's absolutely stunning. And yeah, I wanted to use it wet just to really intensify it. And so I use it along the lower lash line as well. I literally put it everywhere, I put the black, so just wrap it around the eyes on the wing. And yeah, you can see there how beautiful it is. And like I said, I really felt like this look actually could do with some lashes. So, and I think because I used lashes in my last video for the first time in a while, I kind of was in the mood to wear them again. So these are the Ardell Wispies this time. Um, and they're quite, they're not actually that dramatic, but I think they work quite well with the look and just help bring it together. And then I'm just going with the Kiko Extra Scott Mascara, just give my lower lashes a couple of coats. So then I actually decided for once again, I'm going to contour, which I have not done in a very, very long time. And I'm using my trusted Barry M Chisel Cheek Contour Kit, because I knew I love this contour kit. So, considering I haven't done contour in a very long time, I thought this is a perfect product to use. I'm not doing anything too heavy, in all honesty. Um, just taking it along the cheekbones and obviously I, I did actually take a little bit around my forehead though I didn't show it and then I'm going in with the B make me blush blusher on my cheeks and like I said I don't get any, with high, any highlighter today to keep it very matte and skin so for lips obviously I wanted to go nude to complement the bold eyes I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in pillow talk to begin with I will go ahead and fill uh, fill my lips in as well And I'm taking the Kiko liquid lipstick in this nude colour. All products will be linked down below and popping this over the top. It's slightly lighter than the um, lip liner but just a really beautiful nude which I think worked really well with the deepness and darkness of the eyes. That is this look complete. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Any requests, please leave down below and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.